simps are worse than incels ain't no way bro this is an l take how the hell are you gonna say that simps are worse than incels like if you have this take then you just might be an incel well hello ladies and gentlemen this is a brand new series we're doing on the channel now it's technically not new I've talked about a lot of my endeavors on YouTube. I actually, back in 2016, 17, I had a YouTube channel where I actually did something similar where what I would try to do is I would do a weekly Q&A or a hot take. So, so basically the premise of this entire thing is to essentially, basically on, on a community tab, I think every Wednesday, let's use that, actually Wednesday around in the morning, 11 a.m. Central Standard Time, I'm going to put out a community post uh, saying, hey, put some questions in or put in your hot take or whatever conversation. And weekly, I want to make these videos because I feel like one thing that a lot of YouTubers should do is interact with their audience more. And, and look, I do interact with you guys a lot. I do a lot of live streams, but I feel like this makes it more interactive where I make an entire video just listening to what you guys say. So today's video is going to be the first time on this channel that we do a hot take sting gonna do these weekly they're either gonna be q a's hot takes or it could even be opinions on something like let's say the titanic submarine i could have probably put a community post and maybe seen your opinions i don't know maybe that's too much but but i also want to say uh, i'm gonna give my sh a shout out i'm gonna plug my second channel called dundo vlogs it's linked in the description down below it's pretty easy i'm like one of the only channels this is the picture you should find uh this this is my second channel i two months ago i made a video of uh, my first vlog had fun doing it man i was fat there i mean i'm still fat but man i have i think i'm like 20 po 20 pounds lighter here because i've said that you know i've lost weight you know whatever but yeah just gonna plug my channel i am doing vlogs now uh i even have this camera right here i've had this for a while actually never got a chance to do stuff with it but let's actually get some of your comments again Make sure to stay tuned with these. There, there will be community posts. And look, if you want to leave something in this comment section here on this video, go ahead. I'll just say that more than likely I'm going to look for them on the community post. So let's actually go. And this can be anything, really. It can be questions about whatever. It can be a hot take on like a movie or a food topping or a phone, a, a technology, whatever. It can be whatever you want, you know. At the end of the day, I'm just going to react to it. Unless it's like something big. Like if you put some like... Hitler did nothing wrong, then if you put that, then I'm probably not going to respond to you, but, you know, it is what it is, and I do want you guys to be honest, because it makes it more fun, uh, but let's read Chris J. 2083, he says, I do love Batman Forever, not because it's particularly good, uh, but because it's one of my first exposures to this great character, it's silly, corny, and all that stuff, but I do enjoy it, and it's at least better than its sequel. Overall, a flawed but entertaining movie, nonetheless, in my opinion. And that's all right, man. All film is subjective, you know. Um, and me, I'm not the biggest 90s Batman fan when, with the live-action Batman movies. I know a lot of people love the Keen films. You know, people love the Val Kilmer. Um, I'm not even a big fan of the Keen, like, th this 89 and Batman Returns. I'm not a big fan of those movies. I think they're all right movies. They're not bad, but th they're not movies that I can watch as much as like the Dark Knight trilogy or Pattinson's Batman or my favorite Batman, which is Ben Affleck's Batman. But when it comes to Batman Forever, that one, I will say, I have a different opinion from a lot of people. I think that movie's not bad. It's not great either. Like it, To me, it's in that same level of the Keen Batman movies where they're kind of movies that I just don't think much about. They're kind of forgettable to me. But when I hear people talk about Batman Forever, people make it sound like, well, besides Batman Robin, they make it sound like it's the worst Batman film. And to me, it's not. Um, that does go to Batman and Robin. But it's a it's a decent movie that has its, it has its moments. I think Riddler, Jim Carrey's Riddler in that film was actually fun. Val Kilmer's Batman, I didn't really like it. But I did like Val Kilmer as Bruce Wayne. I, I think he was great as Bruce Wayne. But as Batman, I, I, I never took him serious. It was my second introduction to Val Kilmer by that point. Because I had seen this movie, like I think, when I was 16, 17 Somewhere around there. I, I, that, that's part of the reason why I didn't really love the 90s Batman movies. Because I ended up watching them older. Like at that point I had already gr grown up reading Batman comics. Watching the animated series. Playing the Arkham games. At the, the Affleck movies have come out. The Dark Knight trilogy I had already released. It's it's like to me I had already gone and established in my mindset Batman. Because I think a lot of the time you're going to be biased towards what you first encounter. Or what, you re what really got you the character. And I'm happy for you. 
that that was the thing that got you into Batman. To me, it was the animated series. Kevin Conroy, to me, was my first Batman um, ever. And and I think, you know, it's fine to be biased. Like, I hate when people, tr- like, there's, like, movie critics that will call themselves unbiased or say that being biased is bad when it's not really. Because at the end of the day, they're movies. They're just entertainment. Look, I'm going to be biased to things. I'm going to be biased to the Snyder DC films because I love what he did. You know, I'm going to be biased to Toby and Sam Raimi because, to me, they made the greatest movie of all time, which is Spider-Man 2 to me. Obviously, that's, to me, my mind. Since I was a kid, that's always been my favorite movie. And and I'm always going to be biased. Like, if right now they announce Sam Raimi's Spider-Man 4, that movie could be the worst movie ever. And I'd still be there day one. You know, to give you an example, I don't like Spider-Man 3. But yet, I get a lot of nostalgic for that film. I get a lot of nostalgia. And it, it probably should be my least favorite Spider-Man film. But to me, because of the nostalgia, because of what Sam had given me before, to me, I don't hate that movie as much as I probably would have if I was older when I saw that movie. But yeah, that, but yeah, it's good on you, man. I'm, I'm glad you you enjoy Batman Forever. Um, but yeah, I'm just I, I think it's a it's all right movie, you know. But now we got Bianca, myself in comics. She says Ranch. That is all. Now my assumption is she doesn't like Ranch. I heavily disagree with this. I love Ranch. Maybe because I like white stuff in my mouth. I mean, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. But um, Ranch, I really like. Now I don't like. To me, I only really put Ranch on pizzas and salads. That's the only thing I can think about from the top of my head, and I like ranch, but I'm also very specific. Like I like the Great Value Ranch, um, the Great Valley Ranch. I think that's what it's called. That's the ranch I love. But there's been times where I've tried ranch and it's awful. Like there's this place called CC's Pizza. Their ranch is awful. It's awful. I've had places where I've gone and their ranch is just so bad that I don't like it. But the ranch that I get, the Great Valley Ranch, I think that's what it's called. That's delicious. I put it on pizza. Um, I don't put too much on it. Like usually when I get it, it's like a dip, you know, not, not too much because I also, you know, I also want to enjoy the pizza itself. Like it's weird. I'm, I'm kind of like that. I like to enjoy it on there. But I will say this though, it might be unpopular, but when I go to McDonald's, I always get a lot of them, you know, ranch packets that they have. Those ranch boxes they got, those are delicious, bro. And on chicken nuggets and fries, they taste good. But what's funny is I only use McDonald's ranch for McDonald's like chicken nuggets or fries. Like I've tried chicken nuggets and fries on normal, the ranch I was just talking about, the ranch I love. And to me, it tastes too weird when they're together. So it's kind of like, it depends on what on salad ranch always goes on salad, but I rarely eat salad. I have lost 38 pounds without having eaten a salad in years. I'm being honest. My issue with salads is salads get you more hungry after eating them. I I know that sounds weird, but, and I'm not not saying they don't taste bad. I'm just saying that they taste good, a lot of them, you know, especially the chicken salads, you know, all that. But salads, like with lettuce, you know, I've, I used, I remember a couple years ago when I tried a weight loss, or not a couple years ago, I think it was like a year ago, I would try to go Panera Bread every day, but all it did was get me more and more hungry. So I just, I, I found a new gimmick. It's eat bad, but make sure you limit it as much as you can. Drink plenty of water. You know, for all those who want to get into a bit of health, the number, the first thing you should do. Don't go on an immediate diet. Don't go on a medium workout. Just drink water. When you wake up in the morning, drink water. It can be cold. It can be warm. I, I don't know. Room temperature, whatever type of water. I personally love cold water. Cold water really helps me uh, satisfy my cravings in a way. Uh, and because of that, I've lost a lot of weight. And I'm happy with that. But next question is from James Gatz 4490 He says, Grease 2 is better than the first. I'm going to be honest. I don't know what Grease is. Let me actually search up Grease movie. Okay, Grease movie. It's with um, it's uh Jamie Lee Curtis. Is that the one? I don't know. Oh yeah. Oh, wait. Oh wait. Here it is. Oh no. I'm thinking of another one. John Travolta. And then there's a second one. I've I've heard of this movie, but I've never watched it. I'm assuming. Oh, 35 percent on Rotten Tomatoes. Oh, I guess it is unpopular. Wow. So I had a little bit of a technical difficulty on the keyboard. I forgot that on OBS, I have one and two like to switch cameras, but I haven't because I have it cropped in a weird place. It, it went to the to a different way. So I apologize for that. But no, I, I've never watched the Grease movies. Um, uh, sorry, guys. <laughs> apparently where I'm I'm living right now, our phone data is is not working because i've had two friends text me i'm at at my house i'm using the wi-fi 
And apparently everyone's having is- issues with their phone data or whatever. Uh, but sorry, I-, I just got a text message of that. Look, that's how uncut these videos are going to be. These these are going to be like more just free for all, which is what I want this channel to be. I want it to be, I can upload whatever and, you know, I mean, I'm always going to do my best, but I also want it to be, you know, more real and honest, you know. Um, but anyways, I've never really watched a Grease movies. I'm sorry about that, James Gatz. But hey, if, if it's on Paramount Plus, that's the only streaming service I got. Hey, I might check it out, man. But I'm assuming it's an unpopular opinion because I've never even heard there was a second Grease movie. I've always heard of the first one. Um, but yeah, it is what it is. But again, I'm a I'm 21 years old. I'm a 2000s kid. It's hard for me to get into. I mean, I love a lot of older movies. I literally have a Back to the Future poster, the Star Wars poster, like two of them there. Uh, Jurassic, I love Jurassic Park, but it is sometimes hard because it, when I look at the movies that I love that are from those time periods, they're usually like the most popular. Like even the, a movie like Breakfast Club, that's a movie I love. And Ferris Bueller's Day Off, those are two very popular movies. But when it comes to like more independent mo- or not independent movies, but more like movies that aren't um, as popular or talked about, I feel like I get, I get, it's a little hard for me to watch them. Um, but then we got Kamazu B. He says Morbius is better than the food. It's, yes, sir. Morbius. It's Morbian time. I feel like more the, like I just talked about. I feel like Morbius, like our kids. You know, for us that don't have kids, if we end up having kids, Morbius is gonna be kind of, that kind of movie that we don't talk about. Kind of like I don't know. But then again, I also grew up in a household where my parents, because my parents are both immigrants. Uh, my dad came here when he was seventeen. My mom came here when he she was in her mid twenties. Um, a lot of my mom's favorite movies are like Mexican movies, um, Mexican shows, uh, except Scooby-Doo. She loves Scooby-Doo growing up. What's funny is I wasn't allowed to watch Scooby-Doo when I was younger, but she would always tell us how she loves Scooby-Doo. Um, but, uh, and my dad doesn't, doesn't really like movies like that as much. Like every time he would take us to the movie theaters, he would fall asleep. Like I hear a lot of other p- kids talk about their dads, how they love, how their dads show them movies. Like I, I, a lot of Star Wars kids my age, a lot of them grew up on Star Wars because their parents showed them Star Wars. Look, I can't wait to be a dad because I'm gonna show my kids all these movies. Like there's so much stuff that I want to binge watch with my kids, um, and I, I just want to show them. I, I, you know, I can't wait to show them like Karate Kid. I can't wait to show them the Marvel films. The the DC Zack Snyder films, you know, I'm, I can't wait to show them that, you know, at the Dark Knight trilogy, there, Spider-Man 2 is the number one movie I want to be able to sit down with my kid and watch, um, but, but my parents weren't really big movie guys, oh, my mom loved Jurassic Park, that was the one thing that she put into me when I was younger, because she loved Jurassic Park movies, she had the movies, I watched them with her, um, and, and so there's that, but yeah, I, more, I don't know why I'm talking about that, but yeah, look, I'm gonna be honest, I, I know we make jokes about Morbius, but Morbius to me was a good movie. I thought it was an all right movie. I enjoyed it, but that's obviously subjective. Like Chris brought up earlier, you know, it's all subjective. We all have different opinions, and hey, that's the beauty of fandom, you know. And I think that's one of the issues that nerd fandom has. Nerd fandom is all about arguing with people. It's like, come on, bro, y'all were beaten up and bullied in the freaking nineties and eighties. Like now that you finally have a community, now you want to gatekeep that community. Like, bro, it's not a cult. Let's bring people together, you know. Uh, but anyways, I like Morbius. Uh, Vortex says Air Forces are ugly, ah, overrated shoes. I like Air Forces. Now I'm not a big shoe guy. To me, I'm very basic when it comes to shoes. I like, I usually to me I like matching a lot. So like if I'm wearing light blue jeans, I like to wear a white shirt and a and white shoes. I, I have the basically white Air Forces. I mean everyone knows the white Air Forces. Uh. I, I have those. I love those shoes. They look nice. To me, it's all about matching. You know, as long as you match well, it looks nice. That's all that matters to me. Um, I, I guess it also depends. I, I, I'm not a big shoe person. To me, it's just get something that matches and we go on from there, you know. Uh, I, I don't really see like too big of a deal with when it comes to that. I will say the one type of shoes that, that I'm not a big fan of is vans some vans look really like the black and white ones look good but then i look at the checkered ones those checkered ones look horrible the maroon ones look horrible but usually my shoes are either only black or white and maybe that's racist of me but my shoes tend to just be white or black you know i got some black sneakers there that i use literally all the time for running i only have two pairs of shoes right now my running shoes 
are fricked, so I've been having to use one of my decent shoes, which sucks, but it is what it is, but yeah. Um, CJH says ketchup goes on craft dinner and so does a hot dogs. I don't like ketchup. I, I'm not, I don't hate ketchup. Like, let's say you, you bought me some fries and you poured ketchup all over them. I'd still eat them mainly because I grew up not being so picky and I grew up just having to eat whatever was given to me. Um, but I'm not a big fan of ketchup. I being completely honest, I don't really like ketchup to me. It's just, there's not much to it. To me, I find fries better without ketchup. Uh, but then again, when I go to McDonald's, I tend to prefer to getting the, the ranch that they got. Um, hot dogs. When it comes to hot dogs, my combination for hot dog is pretty simple. It's just mayonnaise, but not on the sausage. I like smearing it on the bread. And then just a wiener there. You know, I like wieners. I'm just kidding. But that's how I like my glizzies. You know, it's just mayo and hot dog. I will say, I fucking hate mustard. I said I wasn't going to curse, but I can't stand mustard. Mustard tastes awful to me. Like, I never got the appeal to mustard. Um, but with ketchup, I'm not a big ketchup fan. Um, but it is what it is, you know. I don't know what craft dinner is. There's a K on I actually have no idea what craft dinner is. But, oh, I should probably like these all. I should probably like these all, too. Yeah. This is how we let them know that we're doing this. So, it is what it is. All right. Matrix Menace 904 says pineapple belongs on pizza there i disagree now i like pineapples and i love pizza Pe my favorite foods are pupusas uh wings i love wings pizza and a nice big cheeseburger those are my favorite foods um don't know which one i have at the top of top but i don't know i guess it just depends the day i i mean, it might be wings i love wings man i i like if you ever want to make me happy Take me to Buffalo Wild Wings. I love B-Dubs, man. That place, I just love their food. Don't take me to Hooters. I'm sorry. I went to Hooters once. I know everyone's always there because the <laughs> girls have big boobies and you can see their booty. It's like, bro, you can watch that online, bro. You can go on Google. It feels weird. I'm sorry. Can I say this? Hooters is creepy? Is that a hot take? That's my hot take here. Hooters is weird. Because to me, when it comes to women, don't get me wrong. I love women. But I get no joy out of just seeing women in skimpy clothing. Like, not saying you can't wear it, like, but it's just like I don't get the hype. Like, it's kind of like, oh, I, I literally, when I go work out, when I go to the park, I literally see women in, in much more revealing clothing than that. Like, they're wearing, like, sports bra and short shorts. It's like, wh what's the hype? I see this every day. <laughs> like, I, I, I don't know. And to me, it's like I never got the hype for Hooters. Their stuff is overpriced and their wings are mid. Their wings, the f and I eat wings almost all, like I love wings. Wings are my weakness. I will literally go like Walmart and get one of those bags of wings and just have them, just heat them up in the microwave. And I like those more than like Hooter wings. I'm not saying they're bad. If you invite me, you take me out, I'm going to get wings. They taste good. But Hooter wings are just mid. But yet their entire appeal is we got women. It's like, I don't know, bro. I don't know, but I, I don't even know why I got into that conversation. Pineapple and pizza. I like pineapples and I love pizza. Now, if you were to give me a pizza with pineapples, I'm going to be the simple guy and remove the pineapples and eat those individually. Because to me, the issue is pineapple and pizzas are so different that when you have them together, it gives you like an odd, like not an odd taste per se, but it's like, it just doesn't feel like it's like it belongs. You know, it's kind of like you love your friends and you love your girlfriend but you're not going to have sex with your friends, right? <laughs> like you're not going to have sex with your friends. Like you might love your friends, but you're not going to have sex with them unless you want to. But but with your girlfriend, you do. It's kind of, That's kind of how I uh, put it. That's kind of how I attribute it. You know, it's like, you know, not everything needs to belong together, you know. Um, it's like Messi. Messi's the greatest player of all time. I love him, but like I'm not going to marry him. You know, my he's the greatest player of all time. He's one of my idols growing up, but I'm not going to marry him. You know, too, too much of a good thing can be bad, you know. Um, but that's kind of how I attribute it. But. And then we have the final one. This is simps are worse than incels. Now, when it comes to this, I will say I feel bad for how that word incel has been changed. Because it used to just mean, oh, you just don't look for sex. Like, you're just... You're living in a time period where you don't want to be on relation. That's actually what that was actually one of my New Year's resolutions. It was to lose weight, um, to I, I think it was to lose weight, make a better life, 
and to oh save money that was one thing that was part of my second new year's goal and then another one was not to get into a relationship right now when i want to lose weight because right now i have been focusing on myself um you know I, you know I, the, the lust and everything that guys like and i'm being honest i i don't want to look for a girl right now and don't get me wrong my dream is to get married settle down have kids have a family but right now in this moment i just don't want to because I feel like part of the reason why I gained weight was because of how irresponsible I was with myself and how I didn't, I never stopped to take care of myself. And right now I don't want to be in a relationship uh, just because, you know, I want to make sure I'm good. You know, I've lost 38 pounds. My goal is to lose 50 and I want to make sure I'm never fat again. I'm being honest. Like I, I want to make sure that the clothes, some of the clothes that doesn't fit me anymore, I want to make sure those shirts don't fit me ever in my life. Even if I'm 50, I'm not going to be that fat guy that I was, you know, in my, when I was in 2022 and 2021. Um, but when it comes to Simpson incels, when this is kind of, oh, the reason why I even got into that conversation was because that's what incel used to mean. But now it's like, it's just guys that really, really hate women. Um, and it's very embarrassing. So when it comes to Sims, it's guys who overly care too much about women while incels are more just guys who don't care at all about women. It's like, to me, it's kind of like comparing alt-left liberals and alt-right conservatives. Like, you know, though both of them are weird. You don't want to be either of them. But it's fine to lean into one. Like, I'm fine if you're like, oh, I don't want to get into a relationship. That's me, basically, right now. Uh, and then with Sims, it's like, it's okay to look for a girl. It's okay to care about a girl. But, like, don't go too far into it. But honestly, easy answer is this. This is the hot take I disagree with. Incels are infinitely more worse than Sims. But I will say this, though. Most of the time, incels tend to be former simps who got their heart broken and now use that frustration and pain and and uh, justify their behavior. Um, they're both bad. But it's not as bad as being an incel because incel is like full of hatred. Like you just hate women. And I feel like when it comes to this conversation about sexism and, and misogyny, I feel like we're so dumb because right now you got these red pilled guys making their videos, doing this, doing that. And it's weird because when you stop to think about it, imagine if it was the same thing, but with race, imagine like being an insult, but you're like that for black people. Like you're like, I hate black people and, and I can't talk to them and I hate them and I can't stand them. And they're the problem. Like imagine it's weird because on the internet, we've normalized saying that about men, you know, the feminists who say that about men or the manosphere guys that say that about women, we normalize hating an entire group of people just based on something they're born with. But yet with race, that's almost like thrown out. Like you're not allowed to say that with race, but with gender, it's okay. Because there's a lot of feminists who made careers saying all men are bad. And then there's manosphere guys that made entire careers out of saying all women are bad. But imagine you said that with race. Imagine you said all Asian people are horrible or all Mexicans are horrible or all black people are horrible. It's like, imagine that. And I feel like that never gets talked about enough. And so that's why I say incels are infinitely more because, and, and I think that we are right now at a point in society where we can't accept that, but really a lot of this comes down almost to a lot of like white supremacy, not saying it is white supremacy, but it feels like that where it feels like you're, um, with incels, it's like you hate the other gender so much that you just don't care about a single one of them and that you think all of them are awful. That's what white supremacists say about black people or Asian people. They say the same thing. You know, that's why I don't like the manosphere guys. I don't like the feminist out there. You know, because at the end of the day, you're saying the same things that a white supremacist would say, except you, you're you saying that more specifically towards another gender, you know? But, sorry, guys. Check out the window. I'm hearing a noise from some annoying-ass kids, bro. I'm trying to make a video. I'm just kidding. But, yeah, I mean, I understand what you're trying to say. Simps came, are, are annoying. I've met simps in my life. There was times in my life where I simped, and it led me down to bad paths, you know? Um... But at the end of the day, it's nowhere near as bad as being an incel, you know. Um, and there are simps that are creepy, man. There are some simps that are just annoying, creepy. And honestly, if you're a simp, you might be deteriorating your mental health. So that's not good. But it's also nowhere near as bad as being an incel. 
Uh, but yeah, it is what it is. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Uh, thank you for Bianca, Chris, James, Kamuzu, Vortex, CJH, and Matrix Menace. Thank you guys for being part of the first episode of Hot Takes. Uh, next week, I might do a Q&A, see which one is more popular between the Hot Takes or Q&A. Smash the like button. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think about this series. Would you like more of it? Because I, at the end of the day, the way you guys decide is by liking it, watching it, and I have fun with this. And I feel like it's a much fun way of interacting uh with the community you know build a community where at the end i mean th this video was made because of you guys like this video exists because you guys are here to support it um but yeah and if also another thing um i, I should bring up too you guys are more than welcome to put multiple comments like matrix medics too um you know but i i will say this though sometimes you want to save like a question or a hot take but it's fine if you want to just that you know in the future if you want to save like something for a future uh video because i want to do these weekly um you know you can if you want to that's kind of how we're gonna roll uh but anyways i think i'm gonna put a community post of wednesday 11 a.m central standard time i think around that time around those days i'm gonna put the post so that way by the time friday reaches this video these kinds of videos are uploaded uh gives me enough time to record and edit them um, but yeah, anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you all enjoyed it. I'll see you all in the next one. Ciao. Yeah, we broke and we know it. We don't act like all these other rappers acting like they got racks. Borrow cars, but we're whipping in my mom's truck. 99 full, but act like it's a double R. Yeah, we broke and we know it. We don't act like all these other rappers acting like they got racks. Borrow cars, but we're whipping in my mom's truck. 99 for but act like it's a